Hi, I'm Dr. Sujata Mohan. I'm Executive Medical Director, Rajan Eye Care Hospital. I'm also a FACO Refractive and Corneal Surgeon. Today, I'm going to talk to you about the different type modalities of refractive surgery which are available to correct your powers. So powers meaning myopia, which is short-sightedness, hyperopia, which is far-sightedness, and astigmatism, which is basically an irregular focus of the cornea. So what happens in these conditions and what are the different types of modalities which are available today to make you uh, see without glasses or contact lens? Let's go to the beginning. So the first procedure which was introduced in refractive surgery was PRK or photorefractive keratectomy. The surgery is called the excimer laser and in PRK the top layer of the epithelium is removed and the excimer laser is uh, used to ablate the cornea in the second layer. So ablating meaning removing some tissue. So the amount of tissue that is removed from the cornea depends upon the amount of correction that needs to be done. So this was an extremely popular procedure till uh, LASIK was invented. So the difference between PRK and LASIK was, LASIK was an intrastomal procedure in which a flap was lifted following which the laser was applied over the third layer of the stroma. So the advantage of LASIK was it was literally painless and the recovery was very quick and had a wow effect. So over a period of years, more people started uh, using, more surgeons started using LASIK and more uh, patients were operated using the method of LASIK. However, PRK is still alive. We still use PRK in patients who cannot undergo LASIK for various reasons. And it has come with different names. It's called a surface ablation. It's called as epilasic. It is called as LASIK. But they are all modifications of the same procedure of PRK or photorefractive keratectomy. So coming to LASIK, the most important thing is that you should know whether you're a fit candidate for any of these refractive procedures and what refractive procedure will be suitable for you. So before we go into what is the type of refractive procedure which is correct for you, we need to put you through a battery of tests which will involve going through several machines, several scanning procedures and the surgeon who is going to do it is going to look at all these pictures as well as your eye and decide what will be the appropriate procedure particularly for your eye. So they are all custom based. You just cannot put do LASIK for everybody but you, can la you have to plan what is the best type of procedure for you. So coming after LASIK what came was SMILE. SMILE is a short form of small incision lenticular extraction. So basically a, a femtosecond laser is used to make a small corneal disc that is intrastromally and this disc is removed to correct the power. The advantage of SMILE is that it, the recovery is very fast, the incision is extremely small. So femtosecond laser has been used previously in, the for, in LASIK as well to make the flap but the uh, flap uh, opening is around 20 millimeters whereas in SMILE it is reduced to about 3 to 4 millimeters. So the healing time is faster, the recovery for the patient is faster and the patient get back, can get back to normal uh, life very quickly. However, there are some limitations to SMILE. SMILE patients who have high astigmatism, patients who have hyperopia or farsightedness, uh, a SMILE procedure is not very uh, comfortable to do because the quality of vision achieved post these procedures is not as good that as you get with an eczema laser. So these sort of things have to be uh, absolutely decided by your, uh, uh, your eye care physician or surgeon who goes through all your reports, your refractive error, the uh, corneal thickness, your corneal curvature and uh, your posterior curvature of the cornea. There are so many tests, various of tests which, uh, which will tell what is the type of procedure suitable for you. If none of these three procedures are suitable, then there is a procedure called phakic IOL or phakic intraocular lens. So basically in this procedure what we are doing is we are implanting a lens which will correct your power inside the eye on top of the normal human lens. This differs from cataract in a, a large extent because we are not removing your lens, we are just adding a lens which will correct your power. So even this needs a lot of investigations.
So each and every, every procedure needs to be investigated thoroughly by your physician before we decide what is the ideal procedure for you. So now I've given you a broad overview about the different types of refractive surgery. Refractive surgery has uh, reached its pinnacle and you don't have to have any hesitation about undergoing refractive surgery. I'm sure all of you will be thinking, do I really need to go through it? I'm quite comfortable with my glasses. I'm very comfortable with my contact lenses. But you have to understand the technology has developed so much that it is definitely very safe to undergo these procedures, provided you take the right decision at the right time. Best wishes.